Uh, excuse me. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. Hey, do you need a hand with that? No, no, no I got it. I, oh, I'm all good. Are you sure? No, it's no, no. Go- I got it. Oh, oh, oh. You dumb bitch. Hello, it's me, Lucifer. How are we? And with me is Neri. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm. I do good. I'm <laughs> all right. That's nice. good. I'm tired. A bit sore because it's been so cold, and oh. I'm getting old. Yeah, this is your joints start to book now. <laughs> old cold Lucy. I'd, I'd buy it. Yeah, um, <laughs> buy it just to rip out the pages and burn to burn it. <laughs> burn it. What's new? Not much. What's the shahaps now that the rain has stopped? Um, setting up some project stuff, like actual, like setting up a studio in the house, Ooh. which will be good. We'll have a studio space. We will. That's it's space. going to be smaller than the space we're in now, but we'll have studio so space. We'll just be nice and cozy. <laughs> But that started, thankfully. Um, it was a dilemma. A I, whole schmuzzle. Yeah, I've never felt more uncomfortable in my own house. I'll say that. So we had to... Um, a kerfuffle. Yeah. We had to um, take out... So we had wooden front gates. Yep. Like a fence and also a gate. And it had three columns, like brick columns. We thought were brick at least. And... Um, my father-in-law came to help us tear it down and stuff. And it was all going well for about the first 30 minutes. And then we found out that center column, not only was just brick, but it also had cement in the middle and a pole in the middle of that. So what was supposed to be a five? It was fortified. Yeah, for some reason. What was supposed to be a five, 10 minute job ended up taking hours and he was not happy. About. And which, you know, full yeah. full fairness to him, I wouldn't be, I wasn't happy either. But, oh my God. Like, it's not that I don't get along with my father. This is going to turn into a bit of a session. It's not that I don't get along with my father-in-law. It's just, we don't really have a relationship yeah. in any way. And it was just like him cussing up a storm and. So and it was just icky vibes. Yeah. And I just, and I, I think I have like a bit of trauma of that from my own, from my own, like stepdad and stuff and and like my brother who's a bit of a hardhead and and stuff and i just had all this fucking flashbacks as he was doing it and i was like i don't want to be here i've never felt so uncomfortable in my own house that's and that's the worst when that happens yeah it's like happened a few times to me but in your own house it's like that's where i poop that's where i sleep (laughs) yeah leave (laughs) like there was one point where he started getting super grumpy and like he was kind of turning on me and i was this close to being like you can get out of my house yeah you can leave. Yeah. But look, what he did for us was really, was really big. Like, because he's got, not like you planted the metal pole. No, there. no. And I think he realized that as he was yeah. starting to, because what he, like, he started, like, he looked at me, he was like, this fucking blah, blah. He looked at me, he goes, I don't, and then he looked back at the so many, he goes, I don't understand why someone would do that. It's so stupid. I was like, yeah, it's so dumb. And then yeah, we were the kind of like, the the pole. Exactly. Fuck that guy. So I, I, like, he must have, realized oh this was here before them yeah yeah it's good when people can like step out of themselves for a moment to be like i'm being a dick yeah i was kind of like don't say anything to to myself just let him vent he's only here for a half like for the day yeah and then the job just kept fucking going and going and i was like god damn but yeah anyway that's that's how things were but now we got the the caravan inside which we're gonna tear apart and turn into a, a studio a whole ass studio yeah it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it's I'm. I'm excited. Good to have the space. For yeah, it. like where we record now, I don't mind it, but it's open and it's yeah. a bit echoey and yeah. stuff. So once we once we can treat the caravan and stuff, it's everything's gonna sound better. Nice. And no, we're gonna like good. the plan is to hire it out to podcasters that can't podcast. In a in a yeah. soundproof place or musicians and stuff, so we got a bit of a thing, but it's going to take a little bit. Huh. well, that's fun, mm. fun little projects and stuff. How about you? How's how, what have you been up to oh, now that the rain so stopped? So I've recently started studying again. Oh no! Just to like I don't know <laughs> further my education and work because that's important, and I want to be as qualified as I can to help people and stuff. Yeah. So that's been fun. Um. I must admit, 
it's wild doing class on Zoom. It's oh, so strange. That sucks. Yeah, um, I, I hate classes on Zoom. But you get that. Mm. Um, so I've been doing that. Um, been working. Been doing the gigs. Nice. Um, but yeah, so just doing the gigs mm. and yeah, nice. Trying to thrive, I guess. Can't keep up with this weather. And it's taken me longer to turn on in the mornings because it's so fucking cold. Yeah. Um, it's stupid how cold it is. Like, I wake up, I have my coffee, mm. and I'm just like, come on, body, get it together. <laughs> it's so strange because I run hot most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so weird because I only feel the cold in three areas on my body. My fingers, yeah. my toes, yeah. and my nipples. <laughs> all <laughs> well, three of them. It's so weird. They're all the they're all the most like sensitive and kind of I like, guess. Like not last as covered night, areas. I had my hands on my titties <laughs> and I was laying on my front. Yeah. And they were just radiating coldness. I'm Ooh. like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just one person. Yeah. I um I feel that. My I'm comes... outnumbered. There's three of them and there's one of me. I don't get it. Oh, yeah, nipples. I guess. <laughs> I have three nipples. Yeah. I think you mentioned that before. Science. I have three nipples. Three whole three whole nipples. Three whole nipples? I'm not inbred. My parents weren't related. <laughs> but it's just something that happened, I guess. Yeah, it happened. Like, I'm some like, people... hey, doctor, is this like a tumor or something like that? He's like, mm, no. That's just an undeveloped nipple that's just attached to... Oh, my God. Attached to your body. I'm like... What? <laughs> Can I ask where it is? It's so look. Ready? Yeah. One titty, two yeah. titty, and it's a baby titty. Oh, it's a little titty. A little, a itty little bitty itty, titty. Itty bitty titty. <laughs> so I'm a I'm y- You're the, a part the of the itty bitty big, titty committee. Yeah, the big titty GF fantasy with itty bitty titty on the side. <laughs> yeah, you can you can um <laughs> You can assert, service isn't the right word, but you can service everybody. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, producer. Fun fact about the third nipple is uh, it was once believed a sign of witchcraft, oh. uh, which is why people say cold as a witch's tit. Uh, so the witch's tit was literally the third nipple that they used to feed the familiar from oh. uh, ah. and was like their link to Satan and shit, apparently. Oh. I, I know there's, so. a, there's a movie where there's like a gypsy. And she has three nipples. She has three nipples, and she peels one off, like, <laughs> yeah. like as a, like it's, it's like a thing, and then she peels, she peels it off, and like I think it's like, a, I remember her eating it. I don't know why. That's metal as fuck. I don't know what fucking, or it's a TV show, so it's like a comedy. I don't remember which one. Ew. Well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, cold as a witch's tit. That's your third nipple. Well, there you go. You're a witch. I'm, a, I'm a witch, and that's confirmed because I've got three nipples. Um, that's crazy. Mm. <laughs> You look like you're gonna throw up. It's just a third nipple. No, no, I'm not gonna throw. I, 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 because I had a, I got a tattoo today, and whenever I get a tattoo, oh. I take sweets and coke and stuff. But like, just yeah, just <laughs> sniff it. Sniff that coke. But the older I'm getting, the 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 harder it is to to for that to settle in my tummy. Oh. So it's gonna be a lot of. <laughs> oh, you gassy! Yeah. I'll burp you. Put you on my knee and just burp you like a babe. Like a babe. <sighs> so mm, let's get into it. <laughs> uh, the, so I was going to talk about something else, but okay. because we've talked about nipples and stuff like that, I'm going to jump ship and talk about something else. Okay. Dumb bitchy. Okay. So my friend um, Kyle mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. um, used to play this game. We used to hang out all the time. They'd pick me up and we'd go to Wollongong to 24-hour Kmart and stuff mm-hmm. just for fun. 24-hour Kmart. 24-hour Kmart. What remember a journey. Remember when Nara had a 24-hour Kmart? Remember when Nara was alive? <laughs> remember when Nara was alive. <laughs> um, but so at Fig Tree Kmart mm-hmm. on the roof, uh, like, you know those squishy dinosaurs and stuff? Like little squishy toy dinosaurs. Yeah, I think so. And they're all like metallic colors. Mm -hmm. Someone's opened like all the packets of those and just chucked them on the roof. So the whole roof is just covered in like squishy um, toys. I think that's (laughs) aesthetic as fuck. Uh, But the point of the story is we used to, whenever we would sit to eat or something, we would play the Pornhub game. 
What's the what's the Pornhub <laughs> game? I gotta know. So <laughs> the Pornhub game. You know Rule Thirty Four. Yeah, yeah. Rule Thirty Four. If you can think of it, there's porn of it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't even. Can we talk about porn? Yeah, I don't see yeah, why not. Cool. Okay. Sweet. What? Yeah. Everyone watches it. It doesn't matter who you think you are. Um. So the Pornhub game. You go into Pornhub and you type in a random word mm-hmm. and see if a search comes up. Turns out a lot of things <coughs> have searches on Pornhub that <laughs> okay. probably shouldn't. Um. Some including, th- think of something really random before I tell you the ones we did look up. Yeah. Tell me some what randomest word you can think of. For some reason, Doritos. Doritos is a fun one. Um, <laughs> there's not much food porn in oh. the sense of everything. But mm. um, we looked up pterodactyl porn. Okay. Um, and it had like these guys with like pterodactyl heads hatching out of eggs and what they're the like fuck? Ah! and the lady was like oh my god no and they're like ah <laughs> yeah so that was funny um so you, you search this in uh, like the shopping center no we'd like sit in the car or something oh okay like, i thought you're like, like in the food court no. just fucking <laughs> <laughs> just watching porn <laughs> no um Sorry, I should have um, explained that a bit better. No, no, that's okay. That was just, we would do night trips, and then that's usually how it would end. We'd yep. sit in the driveway for an hour and play the Pornhub game. Fair. Um, in hindsight, strange, but also the shit I've seen on Pornhub, <laughs> I think people need to get it together. Um, so, pterodactyl, frog. What the fuck? So, frog um, had this woman... Entirely painted head to toe green in the rainforest. Okay. And she's like hugging a tree, and this guy's like, That's an exotic, fucking sexy babe frog. Sexy babe <laughs> frog? What the fuck? And then um, the porn part happened, and we were like, Well, now we know frogs don't go la di da di da, like play school said. Yeah. Um, so that was a lie. Mm. But the funniest thing we ever saw on the Pornhub game. Yeah. And we're like, let's get real creative. Producer, if I was to tell you to think of a word, what would you punch in for the Pornhub game? That is a terrifying thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Anything. Fuck. I, like, I don't want to watch any of it. But I suppose if I was going to put, like, the most random thing in there, trees. Trees. <laughs> Just That's trees. So tame in the I rest. know. I don't do that sort of stuff. Tree. I, I Fair. You're off the hook. You're yeah. free. <laughs> Run for the hills. Yeah, trees are boring. <laughs> Tree porn. It's a boring choice. It's um, just a bunch of people dressed like Groot. <laughs> I am. Oh, no. I am Groot. <laughs> um, funniest thing we ever punched in was chainsaw oh no yeah so it starts and there's this woman sitting on the couch and it zooms right in in slow motion right in to her butt zooms right in to her little booty hole (laughs) and she goes oh i think i'm gonna and then it goes slow motion and she just farts (laughs) farts <laughs> and it's like <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so gross and that is chainsaw porn on Pornhub was that the, was that the day you went yeah I think, <laughs> I think that was the last thing we actually <laughs> looked up that was the um, day you both went mm, no no <laughs> that was it it was only like a minute and a half long it was just this woman being like, I think I'm gonna, and then fighting in slow motion. At least she didn't shit, though, I guess. Well, no, she, yeah, at least she didn't shit, but like also. Poopy particles. What if. Are people looking that up? Is that what people look up these days? I don't know. How long ago was it? Oh, this was probably three, four years ago, before yeah. COVID. So five years ago. Okay. Wow. Gee whiz. That's nuts. <sighs> That's that's crazy. Like who makes that? Who what producer or director wakes up and then goes, you know what I'm gonna make today? 
I'm going to make a woman fight in slow motion and title it Chainsaw. And I'm going to... Oh, was it the sound effect of... No, a... but fart mimicked. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 like the that's how it sounded. It sounded like a, a like a chainsaw mower. That's so weird. Um, I just think that's hilarious, and I love that journey for her. Mm, I hope um, she's doing well. Yeah. Look, if there's some girl on the internet that can sell her bath water and farts in a jar, this this lady can fart like a chainsaw and get paid for it. <laughs> she can. Yeah, exactly. But bloody, I just think it's funny. I didn't even know it was a thing. And my friend was just like, yeah, I used to play it in high school all the time. I'm like, never heard of it. <laughs> in apparently high school. A, apparently it's a pastime. Teenagers are the ones who watch the most porn. Let's be real. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, without they're like, doubt. oh, my God. Well, I mean, I, I guess because they're, like, finding, they're finding that part of themselves and stuff. Um, It's funny. Like, I don't know. Being a gay boy growing up. Mm. Um, the prospect of any, I don't know, porn didn't exist to me mm. because my parents were like strict, straight mm. and narrow people. Um, for me, the first exposure to anything like that, mm. and it sounds crazy, but the, the models on the old packets of underwear I'm oh, like, yeah. that's a man body. <laughs> that was like my young teen tween brain was like, mm, okay. that's a man. Mm. And then there's other teenagers just being like, Boom. boobies. <laughs> <laughs> boobies. I didn't, I didn't watch porn until I was like 18. That's when I first started. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm trying to think because you had that moment of being like, that's a... And Man that was book. one of the first times I can kind of really recall it. Yeah. And be like, huh. I don't know what my first, like, that is a lady. And then Sporticus from Lazy Town. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's something here. Is that a band? What? Lazy Town? Lazy Town was like that cringy show on ABC oh. with the girl with the Got ugly. Got a by the book. The yeah. It was like happy. half puppets, half people. But Sporticus was like this. I think he was French and he had like a moustache and like blue clothes and he would do like splits and cartwheels and shit. And like, mm, I don't remember that. Hello. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Lazy Town. I don't even know the song. That Come My Lady song, Butterfly. Crazy Town. Crazy Town. That should have been called Lazy Town. Fuck up it. Town, funk you up. Up Town, <laughs> funk you up. That's Bruno Mars. Is that, is that Lazy Town? No, that's Bruno Mars. Is that, is the song Lazy Town? No, the song, he has a song called The Lazy Song. Today I don't feel Bell. like doing anything. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Do, 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 do. But yeah, um I, I just want to lay in my bed. Do you know what he was doing? Watching porn. Well he does say we're gonna put his hand in his pants. <gasps> Bruno Mars! <laughs> Children listen to you. Do better. Do better. Is he still alive? I think so. He was he did um the last thing I know that he did was um what's that? Lazy town. Oh. I said did, I think that blue guy died, didn't he? Oh my god, uh, what if this the is guy dead? in the back did. Oh. Robbie oh. Rotten. Robbie Rotten. He was died. also a smash. He was <gasps> a he was a massive like meme. After he died? In general, but more so after he died. Pre death. Everyone was like, No, Robbie Rotten. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, he did. I um, always wanted Robbie Rotten and Spotticus to kiss. <laughs> of course. And he did. kiss. Um just grab the backs of both their heads and be like, kiss. <laughs> Like the dolls. <laughs> I I I barely know what it is. I just know. I think I saw things about it after. Look, it was on when my brother was young. So okay. like I was like tweeny, like 12, 13, 14. Yeah. And I'm like, hmm. It's like when people watch um Bluey now. Blue's dope. You it's dope. Okay. Mm. I thought trash was about to no, come no, out no, no, no. I'd be like you are gonna get us cancelled because you're a bluey hater. <laughs> no, blue is great. Oh, uh, there'll be a lynch mob. We'll yeah, do our live be. show, and there'll be a lynch mob. They'll be like, "You fucking trash talk, Bluey." I get a you motherfucker. I'll get a a, a rake through the heart. I don't know what yeah, lynch right. mobs do. Oh, um, burn us, crucify us, crucify. Um, I don't think many Christians watch Bluey. No, probably not. I um. So we have two dogs, and when we got the new pup, 
um, the producer was watching Bluey. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I can't believe you're watching this. And then I sat down for like, I just watched five minutes of it. Yeah, like a whole season later, I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, five minutes is essentially. It's a episode. whole episode. I didn't know that at the time, though. I love it. I've seen it start to finish, open, close. Mm. I have sobbed so many times. Oh, yeah. I have laughed so many times. That episode, I think like the special where they sell the house. And then, not, oh, fuck. That got uh, me so see, bad. That was a sad one. Mm. Onesies was a sad one. Mm. And camping. I am sobbing my eyes out for camping and I don't even like to camp. But like, you can't fucking do that. Prompts to the writers though and attention to detail, all of it. You start season one and finish the end of it. Yeah. Throughout the whole series, Bandit gets so many gray hairs on his whole body. He it really freaks does. freaks me out that they age him so So much. dramatically. Yeah. And then in the, the big time jump at the end of the season, he's like going deaf and stuff. I can't. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, just I can't. It's just it's just like thirty seconds at the end of an episode, but I'm like, oh my god. My this is just an old guy. The one I saw was um, it was like a birthday. The whole thing was like it's a birthday, yeah. and um, and no one's paying attention to like the grandma, and no one's paying attention to Bingo. <gasps> yeah, and like oh Bingo, I uh, yeah birthday. Yeah, that's where I was gonna. Thanks, <laughs> you motherfucker. I was mad. <laughs> Yeah, and at the end, the mother goes, Bingo, where's Bingo? It's her birthday. And everyone, that's like the surprise of the whole show. No one gives a fuck about Bingo the whole episode. <sighs> I like Bingo more than Bluey. I just said it. No, look, it's true. Yeah. Bingo, but I'll tell you who the best pup is. Muffin. A hundred fucking percent. Which one's Muffin? Muffin's the cousin. So she's a little grey one. She has temper yeah, tantrum. The little grey oh. one that gets like the fancy electric car. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. yeah um, that little psycho. There's an episode with her called Granny Mobile. Mm. That's the best episode she's in. A hundred percent. Here come the Granny! Oh, oh, Doris, what are you doing over there? Rita. Rita and Janet. I oh. Bluey and Bingo dressing up as old ladies yeah. is everything. <laughs> Love oh, them. hello, Love them. dear. And the episode where um, I guess they're trying to discipline the kids. And mm-hmm. it's like, whatever. And so they dress up. They do. They both, Bingo and Bluey, dress up, like, paint up as Bluey first. Oh, yeah. And it's like, that's not how we do things. Dad says shit and we don't listen. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they dress up as Bingo and Bluey starts to act out. And Bingo's like, no, we're good. And we <laughs> know two girls pretty much exactly like that, not mentioning oh. any names. <laughs> but Jesus Christ. Like, one is... The fucking Antichrist. And the other one is the sweetest little girl you've ever seen. And it's like, and that episode reminded me of them so much. You're like, oh, I know these people. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Um, Pornhub game. Yes. Um, it was fun. Um, but before we leave the topic and we move on. Yeah. I just want to go back to the first one I said. Pterodactyl porn. Okay. Right? Yeah. Something I had a conversation about the other day yeah. is how much trouble I got in in primary school mm. writing pterodactyl. Oh, so you're Silent gonna, letters. I thought you were going to say writing pterodactyl porn. I was like, oh, so you're the person that it actually wrote me. it. <laughs> I'm actually a porn director and I chose pterodactyl porn. <laughs> or pterodactyl porn. Pterodactyl. I fucking hate how pterodactyl spells. Silent letters. Oh, they suck. I, I would write pterodactyl and the teacher's like, no, that's not how it's done. I'm like, she's like, there's a silent P. I'm like, that doesn't even make grammatical sense. No. But what the fuck is the point of a silent letter? I don't know. Don't put it there. It's so dumb. Like, why? Like, are you just padding out your words? Did you... You're trying to hit that word count <laughs> yeah. in an essay? I think that's what it is. Pterodactyl. That's embarrassing. It's when I... I think it had to do with Power Rangers. It must have been like a toy or something. And just... Pink Rangers yeah, pterodactyl. Yeah. And I was like, what does that say? And my sister or someone <laughs> was like, that's pterodactyl. I was like, fucking isn't. Like hell it is. <laughs> pterodactyl. I'd love to know why. But when why? they when you see pterodactyl spelt out, it seems like someone just threw the alphabet at the wall and whatever stuck there. It's like, that's what we're going to call <laughs> like, it. Like not even just the P, but everything else. It's yeah. such a long word. Yeah, and like a Y in there somewhere. Yeah. Pater- oh, <laughs> it's such a it's stupid a word. Mess. I, uh, ir- ir- irritates me mm. but yes I just wanted to throw that in and that's why Kimberly's is on. a slut <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking are um, you though huh are you though 
not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I thought I'd throw that in before the magical jingles. Okay. Why per- why pterodactyl? I'm pterodactyl. <laughs> why you guys got me pterodactyl. Uh why pterodactyl? Uh so comes from the Greek word perodactylos. That's another thing. Probably Latin and Greek you can wrong. fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meaning winged finger. Winged finger. <laughs> which is an apt a description wow, wow. of it's flying apparatus. It's, penis. it's wings. The <laughs> primary component of the wings of a pterodactylus, and they say pterodactylus. They added more letters to I the term pterodactyl. I guess maybe that's the um the plural. I don't and know. I meant ancient Greek, by the way. Uh, pterodactyl and pie. other pterodactyls. So maybe there are others. I don't know. This is we need to do some research into dinosaurs. I think uh, were made up of a skin and muscle membrane. That stretched from the animal's highly elongated fourth fingers of the hands to the hind limbs, according to the American Museum of Natural History. That's someone, fucked up. Someone put too much effort into that. Pater- no, so that's not even a why fact. Why pterodactyl? Greek. That makes sense. But also, <laughs> you know what? Why? Uh, uh, uh. They've found a lump of bones and they're like, yes, this the had muscle once. Yeah. How do Fuck they know? Off. It's like how they say, like, when they first did Velociraptors and in Jurassic Park, they just dinosaur. But now apparently they have feathers and shit like Don't that. Don't fucking make it complicated. Like, they're not and then com- they're like, that T Rex actually had really small vocal cords, so it would have sounded closer to a cat. <laughs> Get fucked. Fuck cool. You cannot undo dinosaurs. And it's like, like, I know technology is advanced, but it's not like they're coming back. Wow. I thought I liked dinosaurs, but the more this conversation goes on, I think <laughs> I fucking don't. No, I, I don't think it's a dinosaur. I think it's a scientist. I think they're too big for their Paleontologist. bridges. Paleontologists. Paleontologists. Need to sit in the corner and stop. <laughs> You've discovered it, leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's Let dead. things die. <laughs> Let it die. <laughs> they're already dead. Let it rest in peace, not pieces. <sighs> Fucking! Oh. I don't like. I understand why we have to uncover the uncover history, but Jesus Christ! Just fucking leave it alone. Could you? Oh, I hate that. I fucking hate that so much. Mm. Um, I saw a post the other day, and um, it was like, "What if mm. Mars was inhabited by people?" Um. So Mars was inhabited by people. Yeah. Okay. Which is why there was, there is water on Mars. Yeah. But, and then I don't remember how it flipped around, but they had to leave the planet. So they sent a man and a woman in a capsule and they plummeted into Earth being the asteroid that killed all the dinosaurs. Adam and Eve were the first people on the planet and they repopulated. That's so weird. Oh, big bang. Oh. <laughs> Stick that in your pipe and smoke at Christianity. I like that. That's a good... I, yeah, that's cool. Because yeah. I think there's something And on we're doing the same thing here on e Yeah? Yeah. Earth. Yeah. I know how to say Earth. Okay, just to clarify, <laughs> I was saying it like the alien. In, I just <laughs> need to defend myself. Need like the alien in Lilo and Stitch. e uh, It's Earth. Mm. I, I, I can... You I can look. say Earth. I am... Competent sometimes <laughs> with the English language. The worst part is it's my main language. Yeah. <laughs> Same sometimes when my brain doesn't fail, which is rare. Mostly I just speak stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like sound. Um, you mentioned earlier that you had a thing that was going to like fuck people up. Do you want I'll to- save it. Okay. I'll right. save that. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, but with all of that, I think cue the sparkles. Cool. I'm already a bit ground up, but <laughs> you got some grindy facts for me? Um, what do you got? What do you got? All right. My grindy Hit facts. Me with it. So I got three random facts for you. So just to let people know. We're slowly phasing out, well, slowly, pretty much immediately, <laughs> Done. <laughs> phasing out um, Mandela effects because they're all American. I don't know any of these. I didn't know the difference between Jif peanut butter and Jeff's peanut butter. 
So I think what we're going to try to do is facts from lids. So like Spring Valley juice lids and um, and Carlton draft lids. And someone gave us the idea of doing apparently Libra pads have facts. Mm -hmm. So see if like we can get those sent to us as well. Um, but I don't have them yet. Actually, you know what? Mm. I will do the thing I was talking about because it's kind of a mandala effect. Okay. Um, and this can be our fairly well to okay. mandala. No, I like that you're doing it. <sighs> I even brought physical props. Oh boy. All right. What do I have in front of me? Extra chewing gum. Uh huh. Right. Point at the peppermint. There's the a green blue one, one a blue and, one and a green, green one. Pointing to the green one. Yep. So. This? It's going to be spearmint, isn't it? Okay. Oh, motherfucker, it is spearmint. And this is peppermint. That's bullshit. <laughs> and it's everywhere. It's not just extra. It's eclipse. It's mentos. My whole fucking life, peppermint has been green. I swear the spearmint was blue. It was. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I don't like this. Every... And someone has just decided I, I, that green is spearmint now and blue is peppermint. And I'm fucked off. I'm so <laughs> agitated. I saw it. I'm like, because I picked up the green one yeah. because I like peppermint. Yeah. See, and I always I'm get like, the blue one because I like spearmint. I feel like mm -hmm. peppermint's too... Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm like, Wait. yeah, I thought spearmint's the punchy one. Oh, I always get the blue one. Well, now I'm... I don't fucking know because the fucking packaging, the packaging is all wrong. And... Because I, I picked it up and I'm like, oh, what? And then I went back. All the green stuff is spearmint. What the fuck? All the blue stuff is peppermint. I don't like that. And I'm freaking out because I'm like, mm, that's incorrect. Yeah. And I know for a fact because the little mint leaf lollies, they're peppermint leaves. Mm. But now they're not. They're just mint leaves. So now I'm like, are they... St <gasps> Everything is a lie. I love <laughs> mint as a flavor. Yeah. Everything is a lie. And I don't feel safe in this world anymore. No, that's fucked up. I don't like it. I don't like it. I disagree. Right? <sighs> right? Yeah. Please tell me. No, you're right. I was hoping that you were going to be like, yeah, that's peppermint, that's spearmint. Because someone's lying. <laughs> I need a head for it. I need someone's... Oh, that is that is peppermint. Oh. Can I sniff it? Producer agrees that's fucked. That smells like spearmint. As she chews on a peppermint one that she just got Lucy to throw to her. That sound that smells like spearmint though. Does it? Open the other one. Open the other one. <laughs> I mean, that it smells like, like peppermint. That smells like the the blue one I have always had. But I'm sure the blue one I've always had is spearmint. Okay. No, it's the other way around. Have they have they fucked up their packaging? But has but everything? Because it's not the same. Is it all Wrigley's? Is no. So that's extra. Yeah. Eclipse was the same. Eclipse the is a, a Wrigley's company. One with the juice in it was the same. What's the hard crunch one? Like the like the little hard ones with the green goop in it. Ew. Yeah, the what? gross ones. Hate that. Icky. Oh, is that the like oh, fancy gum? Is that five one? Is that five, one? Uh, is that that five gum? <gasps> well, five as well. But I'm like, why? Why? I can't be alone in you. this. Because I knew I knew we were gonna stop um, Mandela effect. So like, just one time. Let's fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> the mandala effect of us stopping mandala effects. Um, that smells like peppermint to me. Fucking hell. That's peppermint. That's peppermint. And that's spearmint. Yeah, for sure. The green one smells like peppermint. 100%. Throw it over Bro. to the producer. Um, I don't know, chew on the blue one. Yeah, but just smell it. That's peppermint. Mm, no, I think spearmint. Get out. Because spearmint's always been... I agree. You're fine. I agree that the color is different. Like the color was always blue was the the gross one and, and green was the safe one. I'm mm. pretty sure. But that definitely smells like I'm going to hate it. No, that's the good one. That's the <laughs> spice one. I'm so confused now. I'm so I don't know what's real anymore. Why is it spicy? Okay, so going away from this, first, we need a new producer. If you're interested, <laughs> send us an you, email. No, you don't. <laughs> Second, um, take to the streets and riot because this is 
Hurts my brain. Incorrect. Um, we're not doing fucked facts or Mandela effects ever again. Um, we're canceling <laughs> the podcast and I'm moving overseas. Yeah. Where the shit is right. So, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Go. Now we give us some fun facts. Yeah, so we'll... Get it away from me. Okay. <laughs> Everything's a lie. <laughs> the thing about, I guess, about Mandela effects is that it's supposed, so the, the general gist of Mandela effects is two universes colliding together, mixing mm-hmm. shit up. The thing with one reason why I was like, I don't really, I think it's silly, is that, like I said, most of the Mandela effects you find are all American. But if it's two universes coming together, it's not just going to be America. It's going to be worldwide. Mm-hmm. But it's so hard to find worldwide. That's why I'm like. So, look, it's a lot of Mandela effect chat, considering we said we're not going to do any Mandela effect mm. chat. So maybe we just plump it out. We do the Mandela effect chats because we've already like committed with this chewing gum thing. And then we can get to your facts next episode. Okay. Because with Mandala effects, yeah. I read this thing the other day. Yeah. And this is also why I kind of want to veer away from Mandala effects because they freak me out on an existential level. Now. Okay. <clears throat> I read this thing and look, it's just, I don't know, probably shit posting. And it's just, this is how conspiracies happen. Mm. But what if I told you that Mandala effects are done by government science oh, okay the earth is flat oh, no um no this woman was talking about a specific brand in america of fruit and okay. it had a a specific image on the logo are you about fruit of the loom or something yeah 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 yeah. and there's supposed to be like a cornucopia yeah yeah yep. and they're like we've never done that they even share their logos from when the company first started and they're like we've never had it someone found a label on their old shirt or something with a cornucopia oh and they're like well explain this then what if that person's from an alternate universe what if oh, oh even worse <laughs> what if that I don't know the higher ups. I don't want to sound like a crazy person and be like the government's microchipping us with the vaccination or anything like that. Um, but what if they are playing with space time and they're like, what if we can just make people forget the big bad things that have happened in history? And they're only doing it with little shitty things like the Monopoly Man, yeah. Pikachu's tail, um, the cornucopia on a f- random fruit company, just to see what people like. Be we'll like, do. oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Or do we ride on the streets, or do we just? Yeah, that's why we I've just heard take that it. Too. I, it freaks me out, man. So you, <laughs> it's funny you say that because you know, you know, Men in Black the movie. Yes, you know it's based off real people there's a whole conspiracy theory about men in suits with like flashy things and and stuff like and like how would they do it tv yeah we're all watching screens we're all on screen like what if there's just a i don't know i i sound like a crazy person (laughs) i promise i'm not just i just like to know what I'm consuming. The problem with conspiracy theories And is... I know for a fact I fucking drew a big black square on the end of Pikachu's tail. So I, I'm yeah. bitter about it. Um, Yeah. The thing with conspiracy theories is that once you start, it's such a rabbit hole. Such it's, a rabbit yeah, hole. Yeah. It's so hard to, like, get out of it. Like, and that's the thing. I like to think that I'm pretty open-minded and pretty level when it comes to spiraling with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Although one time I did like go down this whole rabbit hole and um, I'll get you to beep the name. Okay. But I went on to a bunch of videos. Yeah. And then after I was like, maybe they have a point. And I look at the clock and it was like quarter to five. I'm like, it means it's time for bed. If I'm starting to think <laughs> that that's an option. Yeah, that's, yeah exactly. So it, it's, yeah, it's true. I, I was listening to a podcast literally called conspiracy theories. And one day I just had to stop. I'm like, I can't keep listening to this because it's going to drive me fucking bananas. And I'm such an overthinker mm. that it's just unnatural to like, just, Mandala effects have always icked me in yeah. an odd way. And we said that from episode one, that yeah. they, like, rub our fur backwards. But, like, 
the more I learn about Mandela effects, the more I'm like, nah, I fucking remember it this way. Mm. And I think someone gaslighting, gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Honestly, stop mm. this gum thing. That's done. <laughs> Nail in the coffin. Yeah. I've, I've always been intrigued by it, but they've always also rubbed me kind of the wrong way. Freaks me out. Mm. I feel gaslit. <laughs> that, like, you yeah, know? it's weird. Like and I have, look, I'm dumb. But I'm not stupid. Yeah. I have a really vivid memory. Yeah. I can remember a lot of things. Mm. Color of chewing gum. I only ever ate peppermint, the green one. Mm. The one that smells like peppermint. Yeah. It's weird. It's I've always had the blue one, which I always thought was spearmint. It's so weird. The packaging is still the same. Like the color. It's just the, No, I'm the, just confused. <laughs> the words are just different. And look, some people might be thinking it's just mint. It's not that deep. It's now, deep. It, it does go that deep. Because yeah. now, minties, are they spearmint or peppermint? Yep, everything's fucked. Everything's fucked. You fucking ruined everything. <laughs> what about like, what is it? Um, like, like dinner mints or after dinner mints? All those. Like, I've always thought they're peppermint. Yeah. But fucking, I'm fucked if I Who knows? Choc mint ice cream? Oh, Who knows? I love choc mint. I like, I like chocolate and mint. But yeah, now I'm... I don't know if I. I don't know it. what to believe anymore. <laughs> My favorite flavor gone, ruined, on a rocket to the sun. Yeah, every variant of every mint. variant of mint. Um, jeez. <sighs> you know, one of my friends is allergic. One of our friends is allergic. I beg about the name, but who? Really allergic? Deathly to mint. Yeah, that sucks. I'm like, that's fucked, man. What like you? But there's, there's they mint use in a your special toothbrush. Tooth- Toothpaste, Spe- special toothpaste. Yeah, like children's toothpaste because mint isn't in children's toothpaste. Really? Yep. She got the bacon one. Ew, like <laughs> dog. <laughs> Animal like toothpaste. Bitch. That's because she is a bitch. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that. So that's just ruined my bars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we didn't do the other facts because. I feel like they would have paled in comparison. Nah, we'll we'll save the facts. This is our fairly well fairly bomb well. voyage on the rocket ship, you motherfuckers, fuck to Mandala yeah. effects and get out of our podcast. Yeah. Done. Done. How rude. That's so twisted. I I can't. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> do you have a dumb bitch I, for this week? I do have a dumb bitch. I actually have three. Okay. <clears throat> And I think you'll like it because I think you told us about this okay. and we haven't told you you've actually seen it, which we have. Okay. So my dumb bitch of the week are the three triplet brothers from identi- three identical strangers. <gasps> okay. And I'll tell Did you Did you what, watch it? Yeah. Watched it. Blew my mind. Felt more like a movie than a, than a documentary because mm-hmm. the shit that happens. Like, I'm, anyway, but there's a part where they go into business together. Yep. I paused the movie. I turned to the producer and I said, these dumb motherfuckers never go into business with family. Yep. Idiots. And that's when it all goes essentially downhill. Silly. I was like, yeah. So that's why. Never go into business with family. These three more. And like, I know they're triplets and they love each other and they have all these mannerisms that are the same and yada, yada, yada. But still. But they've known each other. For, I mean, they've known each other for about 10 years at this point. Yeah. Like 1980 to 1992 yeah. or something. Isn't that a wild doco though? It's it's not. It's not a fictional dumb bitch. No, but I'll I'll let you have that because it's true. You should never go into business with family. Yeah, it's not fictional, but um, yeah, it was just like, and the one that like the one that or wants the whole family to stay together and stuff. Of course, is gonna take it real hard when you fuck around. Yeah, like just for that. Like it's a great documentary, and they seem like good dudes. Like. Yeah. whatever but just they went into imagine business together and i was like could you imagine those three of your face running around and the way they found it like it's, it's twisted. weird because the thing that gets me spoilers if you've never seen the documentary highly recommend it what was that called three identical strangers yeah definitely go watch um right spoilers ahead so one of the brothers i'm not good with names mm-hmm. one of the brothers is originally at this community college B1, B2, and B3. Yeah, so B1 originally goes to his community college. Mm-hmm. He, I guess, um, stops going. B2 goes to the same community college a year later or something, and he's getting, like, high fives and hugs and kisses, yeah. like, little kisses like, from wow, random I'm famous. Chick. Yeah, he's like, this is not how a first day of college is supposed to go. 
this guy runs in, he goes, you know, what's your name? Who are you? Blah, blah. And he goes, come with me. And they call B1. Mm-hmm. The thing that gets me is B1 lives in Staten Island, which is they drive all night to get to this dude's house. Yep. And it's not like they've gone to Yale or Harvard or any like yep. high prestige college. It's a community college, yep. which is essentially like TAFE. You can't tell me the closest community college to this guy is six hours away. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he goes all the way there, it's fucking mind blowing. Like it's a whole thing. You want to talk about <laughs> conspiracy like, it's theories? A whole thing. <laughs> it just it's hectic. It's nuts. And then like people that film them when they're kids, how fucking that's like a Russian government. Or yeah, whatever. it was Wild. so weird. like it felt like a movie. Like uh, I'm glad like you a, watched it. Yeah, a good recommendation. Yeah, great. I, I just feel like I've seen it in so many like in Fringe and like American Horror Story yeah, and all this like, stuff. True life. I didn't think for real, real, not for play, play. For real, real, not for play, play. <sighs> it's fucked. It blows my mind. G, fucking whiz. Mm. You know, just wait. G whiz. But yeah, they're my three um, dumb bitches <laughs> of, of the week. Okay, um, my dumb bitch is you know what? I'll do a real person as well. Okay, to an extent. Okay. Um, I'm going to say the simple life version of Paris Hilton. Okay. Because I respect her. She has really worked hard to get where she is now. Mm. And like, she's talked about it multiple times that it was a character that she was putting on for the sake of the show. Yeah. But like the simple life is one of my guilty, guilty pleasures. Yeah. Like I watch it every few years just as just, I binge it, Mm. get it out of my system and I move on with my life. But fuck, she she was a dumb bitch. <laughs> but she got such a reputation out of that show. Yeah. And yeah. then she's like, actually, I had high distinctions in class. I'm actually really smart. I have my own business. I'm a DJ. I um do all these things. She's written a book. She went through a lot of, like, child stars. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. like, r- rich children. Like, all mm. go through shit. And um, I just think that's wild. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So just Paris Hilton, Simple Life era. Yeah, is yeah. my dumb bitch of the day. That's fair. So like, I wonder if Nicole Rich is as dumb as she looks in that show. I look. She's one I don't have much time for. Yeah, I, just, I don't care for her. I, I don't know if she's a good person. Yeah, but I don't also know. I don't know them personally. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. Paris kind of literally bared it all for the world. Yeah. Um, and she's climbed back out of that rut. So good on her. Yeah. I think, wasn't Kim Kardashian like a friend or some uh, shit? Yeah. Yeah, they were like besties. Ugh. And then the power scale yeah. tipped and one got more famous and the other one tried to be a person. Yeah. So... Didn't she get... Did Paris Hilton also get famous from a sex tape? Yep. Oof. Well, that's, that was trying to understatedly say how that she bared it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why it reminded me. I was like, oh, yeah, that's how... Because I know that's how Kim Kardashian... Did you Back the, to porn. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Loop. Have you heard the, consp- the, the theory... It's not conspiracy theory, just a theory, that her mum released that sex tape? Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Yeah. That bitch. <laughs> she was probably holding the camera God, i was like that's cr- oh do a different pose i can't get the angles right. yeah probably i wouldn't be surprised She's i like, don't know anything about the kardashians no, I mean, except neither. the fact that they they multiply like amoebas <laughs> like there were three to start with yeah there was kim yeah the other one and the the bigger one like the really tall one yeah and then she eventually got so tall that there was a fourth and a fifth one. Just it got <laughs> just so big out that it just split like amoebas. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So the Kardashians are one little clan of amoebas. Yeah. And I'll tell you who else. Ooh. And I think I've talked about it in previous episode. The Scars Guards. Oh yeah. Everything has but a Scars Guard. At least in they're it. fucking talented. Yeah, but like everything has a Scars Guard in it. And just when you think you know all of them, bam, another, another Scars one. Guard. But the thing with the Skarsgård is none of them are as um, talented as their dad. Yeah. Stellan Skarsgård is the most talented out of all of them. Smash. Um, But yeah, so that's our (laughs) fucking dumb bitches. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good um, list of of people. So, everyone listening at home, 
send me your dumb bitch stories mm -hmm. or send Neri your fucked facts. Or if you get juice lids with a fact on it or Libras. Um, if you, yeah, if you use pads, send in the fun little factoroonies. Not the actual pad though. No, just the, just none, the facts. None of that. <laughs> none of that. Um, to our email address, yes. it is ydbp24 at gmail.com. In one take, too. Jeez, that's good. Yes, I, I, look, <laughs> I'm, I've figured it out. I've drilled it in my that's head before good. I go to bed. Because I, I was listening to one of the episodes. And we're both just, just rambling. like we get it, but we miss something or like we are about to get it and we miss like we put like the whole date in instead of 24 yeah. or whatever it is. It was quite funny, but that was good. One yeah. shot. Woo. So before we go, I just wanted to remind everybody that on the 11th of July, we're doing our first live show at the Bottle Rocket Bar in Nara. Super excited and super nervous, but we will be there. There will be prizes for those that wish to tell their own dumb bitch story. And we'll have a big prize for the best or dumbest bitch story of the night. So please come and join us and have a night of good laughs, good drink, great stories, and good company. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye.